Welcome to another episode of Deja on our show. I know I'm not the only person that noticed that that announcer guy had no people. He had complete black eyes. Seriously, he looked convincingly evil. I mean, so evil. It it's just not funny no more how evil that guy was looking. <laughs> like seriously, like, he he got to be he got to be up to something. He got to be some type of bad guy. I mean, where the fuck is his people at? But anyway, this episode so that Tashi uh, is a mastermind. He just sit there and just he can just look at a sister race and, and actually notice what actually occurred. Meaning like they were like a suicide crash, but it was on purpose. It was three different drivers that actually used different techniques to make their car roll in that exact order. So. He figured that out just by looking at it. Amazing. Also, I don't know. Something about Mizuki and her big boobs. Apparently, when she just wearing a regular damn shirt, that I hope it's true if you I can't stop looking at you because it just made her boobs a humongous and they just can't stop staring at her. However, even with her damn uniform on, they still visible because it's just huge. She got the biggest boobs in the series. Beside old girl Hanako, forgot her name. Old girl in the damn hot, hot tub. She got humongous boobs as well. But enough about boobs and girls following each other and becoming lesbians. But anyway, um, Mihiko, Mariko, the dude that controls the spirit. There's so many characters, it's hard to keep keep up with him. But he just, you know, you find out like somebody was just like thieves and he was chasing after them. And Tashiya came and saved him. Seemed like there was something more to that whole attack. And how did Tashiya conveniently end up being there? Not to miss him. It seemed like Erica was trying hard as hell to talk to him. But he called and, you know, he just don't actually notice women apparently. And he got. it seemed like he got to open up a little bit more. Due to the fact that he just seemed like a cold hearted guy. They don't have any emotion besides his little sister. And also, either, um, he recovered, I mean, Kirihara, he noticed that too. He said he seemed like, seemed like his old war buddy. He seemed like he killed before. He's just cold. He's just, uh, you know, he just seemed like a guy that just don't hold back, just take shit seriously and just going to take you out with no problem. And a lot of people notice that about him. And that's, that's 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 like the main. That's not a problem with him. It's just I want to see a little bit more personality build up when it comes to this guy. Hopefully they show a little bit more of that, and hopefully we can find out what actually behind his attack. The um, Mihiko, the guy from the intro with the red jacket, the gun. He probably he finally appeared. It seemed like he took interest in Miyuki, but not the entry like he liked her. He just the entry like. He intrigued by her last name, I guess. I guess he's looking for Tatsuya. But anyway, tell me you guys think. Make sure you guys rate, comment, and subscribe. Also, make sure you guys check out my book, Mizuki Dragon Warrior Value 1. The link to where to buy it is at in the description below. So you can buy the ebook for $3.03. And have a good one, you guys. Peace out.